Hi, this is Randy Jeffers, and uh, this is a very special pleasure to have with us today Mr. Chuck Dalby. Well, welcome, Chuck. Thanks. These are exciting times for you. I know you and your family are getting ready to embark on just an incredible experience. You're leaving for one year to Chiang Mai, Thailand, and tell us a little bit about yourself for those that don't know you. Well, um, I am a father of four boys, been married for about 15 years, um, self-employed for most of my life, and uh, recently was working for a company, and uh, just a time in our life when we found that we were able to be able to take a year off and, and go serve and, and do something a little different. Well, that is really spectacular. You know, I know you from, from our church. We share, we go to the same church, mm -hmm. and uh, that's where we met you. And, and I know that uh, your walk with uh, with Christ is very important. Tell us a little bit about that and, and how that plays into your family and into this into the big decision that you've made. Yeah, we, um, you know, my wife kind of brought it to my attention, uh, something she had read and it had talked about uh, missions and um it just said that if you're not involved in a missionary's life or as a missionary, then you're probably not following the Great Commission. And it just kind of hit me that uh, we weren't doing a whole lot in that aspect. And um, when I read further, it talked about how if you've ever had a calling on your life uh, or you've ever had the desire that that was probably planted by God and given it to you, to you that way. Um, and I have definitely always had a heart for orphans and kids and wanted to do something like that. It's just, you know, how do you pack up a family of six and, you know, leave your job and everything and go do that. And, um, you know, we just prayed about it and God to open doors and things just happened. And, you know, we stepped out in faith and started getting rid of stuff and uh, got out of our house. And, and here we are. We're leaving in less than 30 days. <laughs> well, it's a huge undertaking, certainly. And, and uh uh, but what a wonderful experience! You know, I, I just can't wait to see what you're going to say. With, you know, you're from now, and yeah. the stories that you're going to have, and, and how your kids' lives have changed, and, and how you and your wife's lives have changed uh, because of this experience, and more importantly, how some of the kids over in Thailand, how their lives uh, will have changed because of your decision that you're making right now. Now, I know you've been involved with Liberty Kids. You uh, have helped us uh, pretty much from the beginning, and uh, you know we're a small organization, and and uh, um, of course, one of the things that we're very proud of is that, that every dollar that has come in has gone to the cause, to the kids. Yeah. And there's no admin costs. And so everything that's been done has been by volunteers. Mm -hmm. And, uh, of course, you stepped in to, uh, to volunteer and, and have uh, served as the, the director. Uh, and, of course, you've been very busy. <laughs> but but uh, tell us a little bit about some of the things that you expect to... Uh, be able to accomplish now that you have a little more time and, and that will actually be on the ground there? Yeah, well, you know, when we kind of decided to embark on this, we felt called to go by God, and uh, we definitely have seen uh, confirmation through everything that's happened. And we didn't have a whole lot of expectations other than we know that God's going to lead us when we get there. Um, you know, as we've been looking, we've got some ideas of how we can help raise some funds and, and create a bridge. Um, of a network of people here that want to get involved and, and help out um, and create relationships between the children and families here um, that you know span that divide um, and that uh, my wife and my kids we would kind of step into that void and fill that uh, that void so that uh, it would allow people here to really build a, a genuine relationship with the kids there and help the kids build self-esteem and knowing that they have people here that care about them that are supporting them um, and through um, our Vacations with a Purpose program it allows people to take their whole family and come visit us in Chiang Mai and spend time with their kids that they've sponsored and uh, have a, a vacation that probably would be one of the most memorable times of their lives. Yes. Um, so that's just one of the things we're going to do. We're, we're going to be teaching some English. We've been asked if we could teach English to the village because uh, it's kind of an outreach so we're going to look at that. Um, we've got several uh, projects we're trying to do at the orphanage. We're looking at possibly building a school and another dorm. And so as these things come up, we're going to get involved in helping in any way we can. Um, again, you know, my wife and I just decided we wanted to serve. And when we get there, we're going to look and see what the needs are and wherever they need us. If it's, you know, doing laundry or making meals, that's what we're going to do. So. Yes. Well, you know, you've been a very successful businessman in, in the past and, uh, um, 
have had a lot of success in your life, and this is a real switchover, isn't it, to really just sort of humble yourself, you know, and, and, and to be a servant yeah. and, uh, and follow God's plan for your life. And, uh, you know, I, I know I heard something uh, recently that you had said uh, to someone about, uh, about uh, what you, why you were going and some of the things you wanted to accomplish. Do you remember what we are talking about? Because I just think that just would bless so many people to hear these words. Well, you know, in our society, it's really difficult to to get a vision of, of what you want for your children, and how you want to raise your children, and, and what you want to teach them. And we're so busy in life, and um, it's not that I'm trying to run away or anything, but the director there is just a godly man. He's got two sons, one, they're both out of school, and, and they both followed in the Lord. And, you know, I want that for my boys more than anything. Um, but it's difficult here. I mean, we've got so many distractions, you know, the video games and the friends and the movies and everything else that uh, I sometimes think we're just, uh, we're lost. And, uh, you know, we think of other people being lost, but over there, you're, you're stripped down to the basics of life. And uh, I think my boys are going to really grow, uh, as well as my wife and I, and I think it'll allow us to really serve God and to understand his call in our lives and what it really means. And uh, I told the director there, Nippon, that uh, you know I just want to go and learn from him, uh, not just what he does with the orphanage, but how he's been such a successful father. Um, and that's important to me. You know, we only have our kids for a short time, and uh, that may sound selfish, you know, that we're not going there all for the orphanage. But you know, it's it's one of those reasons that we're going because we really want to use this time in our kids' lives to grow them closer to God and to uh, bring them up in that way. Well, I know you've been to the orphanage, Chuck, and uh, you actually uh, were there at the same time that we were there. And so you've experienced uh, uh, building relationships with the children. I know that uh, some of them that uh, uh, you even thought about trying to bring them over here and let them have a, a little taste of, uh, of our life. But uh, uh, tell us a little bit about some of those experiences when you first went there and, you know, and really what those relationships mean to you. Well, you know, there's there's definitely a language barrier, but when you first get there, you know, it's a little bit of a culture shock. Um, but the kids are just so, they're just grateful to have anyone give them attention. And, uh, you know, I, I bonded really quickly with some of the older boys, and, uh, you know, they just don't have a lot of male companions that they can look up to and, and uh, that they can speak into their lives. And, uh, Know, you love on the kids, you play soccer with them, and you do fun things with them, and you, you know, running with some of the kids, and the little girls just love to play little games, and um, you get down to the basics of relationships, and you just realize how fulfilling that is, and how much value that has, more than accumulating things, and <laughs> you know, the next boat, or whatever you're going to buy, and it's, you know, those things are fun, but it's, it's just can be a distraction of what really matters and you know when you look at God's economy those souls are what's important to him um, that investment of time that I was there may not have seemed like I accomplished a lot but in his eyes uh, I know that that's what he really values and so like I said two weeks there was it was life changing well I can't imagine how life changing is going to be after one year yeah. my goodness what uh, what a wonderful investment in, in the future of your family and in the future of those children and, and uh, as I mentioned I just can't wait to see you know what's uh, what's going to transpire and and uh, and and everyone's lives and in, in, in incredibly positive ways well Chuck uh, I know you uh, have been very active in our church uh, active in the men's organization and and you have a lot of skills that have been developed uh, along those lines that uh, certainly will become useful over there. Uh, any any words of wisdom to some, to someone that's out there, maybe that's that's contemplating um, uh, making a change in their life. Maybe you know, maybe they have been thinking, well, you know, you know, I, I I'd like to do something like that. You know, maybe maybe God's got a little tug on my heart, and, and uh, maybe I want to go and, but, but I'm a little bit afraid. I don't know uh, exactly what I should do. Any words for for those guys? Well. I, you know, over the last few months when we decided to do this, I really realized that, that God isn't going to tell you so much what to do as much as He wants you to step out. 
you know, and once you step out, God will meet you there, and He'll show you the next step. Um, it's one of the reasons, like I said, we don't set any plans in stone of what we're doing when we get there, because we know God's called us to go there, and He'll show us and reveal to us what the needs are and where He wants us to go and do next. And um, you know, it's it's easy to make plans, but <laughs> the plans of men are foolish, you know, and, and so we have to follow God, and so follow what we're doing, and if you've got an, you know, an itch in your heart, or you've had that desire, or that longing, or make a step to do it. Make it a point to do it. God will make it happen. I mean, you may think, oh, I can't afford it, or I can't take the time off, or whatever, but if it's His will, pray about it, and uh, you'd be amazed at how quickly He can change your life when you're ready. Yes, absolutely. Well, one of the things that we want everyone out there to know is that, uh, uh, you know, as we mentioned, when donations come in to, to the organization, the Liberty Kids organization, that all goes to support the kids directly. And so, yeah. in your case, as a missionary now, as you're going, you've had to raise your own funds, right? And uh, you've asked God for some help.